Hey guys, it is April from Getting Hugga With It. I wanted to do a little review of The Rules of Magic by Alice Hoffman. If you have read Practical Magic or you're in the mood for something Halloween-y that's not in any way scary, keep watching. kindly sent the rules of magic uh, by Simon and Schuster Canada and this book is coming out on October 10th and I am telling you I loved this so much this was my first Alice Hoffman I'd never read anything by her before even though I've actually picked up quite a few of her books that are now sitting on my shelves like asking for me to read them. If you don't know, The Rules of Magic is actually a prequel to Practical Magic. And Practical Magic uh, was written a few years ago by Alice Hoffman and that was turned into a movie with, I think it was Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock. This follows the Owens family and the women in the Owens family are witches. The whole family are actually witches. However, the women in the family are cursed. When they fall in love, their lovers meet a very tragic end. They always seem to die. And so these women of the Owens family don't fall in love. And we follow two sisters in the Owens family, Franny and Jet. And we also follow their brother Vincent and all of these characters are quite interesting. So um, Franny attracts birds and both Jet and Vincent have sight so they can see what's going to happen in the future. What I found most interesting was that because of this curse the people I was drawn to were the actual people who were consoling them after something bad has happened to their lovers. So I found that really interesting that I was more drawn to the people consoling than the actual lovers themselves. Um, and this I think would actually be a really good book if you are heartbroken because it is a book about piecing yourself together again in whatever way you can after losing someone that you love. So since this is a prequel to Practical Magic, we're following the Owens family in their childhood. And they actually had a really interesting childhood. So their parents were not in love, but they were like this united force. And they told their children to have very certain rules. And some of them were no walking in moonlight, no red shoes, no wearing black, no cats, no crows, no candles, no books about magic, and most importantly, never ever fall in love. So their parents didn't want them to practice magic or really know about their roots at all. And it wasn't until they went to visit their Aunt Isabel that they really started to explore the fact that they were witches. They got to start to explore their history and their roots in Massachusetts. Um, one thing that I do wish that there was more of in this book that I've heard there is plenty of in Practical Magic was the kind of magic system. We got little bits and pieces of it that I really loved. So there were little things like if a man kissed a witch, all of the change in his pockets would turn black and he wouldn't know why. So there were all of these little tiny magical things that I personally adored and I just wish there was a tiny bit more of that here. Um, one of the things I loved about this book was that there was a homosexual love story here between Vincent and a man that he meets and that was really nice. It got just as much uh, focus and attention on as any of the other love stories in here and I really, really liked that. So if I haven't mentioned it already, this comes out on October 10th. I highly recommend it. It's so perfect for this time of year. It couldn't have come out at a better time. If you are in the mood for a family drama with a little bit of mysteriousness and mysticism in the form of witches, this is perfect. It's not going to scare you. It's, it's like the perfect way to get into the Halloween mood without 
being scared. So I highly recommend it, loved it, and I think I'm going to read Practical Magic next October because I kind of, I want the Owens family to last with me. Let me know in the comments below what witchy kinds of stories and books you've read that you've really loved. And I would love to know because I haven't read a lot of stories about witches before and I've been ple pleasantly surprised. So yes, I'd love to know. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you later. Bye.